Greetings, car fanatics. Do your brake calipers look faded like mine? Well, today I'm going to show you how to make your faded brake calipers go from this to this in five easy steps. And the best part is I'll show you how to get these results without entirely repainting your brake calipers, which is extremely time consuming. If your brake calipers are faded like mine, this is most likely because the clear coat has worn away. We can verify this by spraying water on the brake caliper. As you can see here, the color is nice and deep when it's wet. However, as soon as it dries, the paint looks dull again. This indicates that the clear coat has completely worn away. So to restore the finish on these brake calipers, all we need to do is reapply clear coat to them. Before we get started in this video, go ahead and smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you're not so you're notified each time I upload a new video. This is really important so I can continue to make new content for the channel. Let's take a look at all the supplies you'll need to get the job done. You're going to need all-purpose cleaner, a detailer's brush, masking tape, polish, rubbing alcohol, brake caliper paint, a micro touch-up brush, and brake caliper clear coat. So let's get started. The first step is to give the brake caliper a thorough cleaning. Spray the all-purpose cleaner on the brake caliper, and then you want to take your detailer's brush and agitate all of the grime. With the grime suspended in the all-purpose cleaner, go ahead and rinse off the brake caliper. You should have a nice and clean brake caliper. However, if you don't, go ahead and repeat this process as many times as necessary until your brake caliper is perfectly clean. When you're done, go ahead and completely dry off the brake caliper. Now we can move on to the second step, which is to polish your brake caliper. This is going to allow us to remove any contaminants from the brake surface and give the paint a nice finish for the clear coat to go on top of. I'm using Meguiar's Ultimate Polish and working it into the paint. Be careful not to get the polish into any crevices or it will be a hassle to remove. Alright, so we're done polishing the brake caliper and look how good the paint looks. While it's tempting to stop here and call it a day, the brake caliper is going to return back to its dull finish very quickly unless we apply some clear coat to protect the finish. However, before we apply the clear coat, just take some rubbing alcohol, apply it to a microfiber cloth, and thoroughly wipe down the brake caliper. We want to remove any leftover polish residue to make sure the clear coat is going to adhere properly to the paint. Moving on to step three, with the brake caliper clean, we're almost ready to apply the clear coat. However, in my case, my brake caliper has a few spots where the paint has chipped away. So in this third step, what we're going to do is touch up the brake caliper using some matching caliper paint. I'm taking my matching brake caliper paint and I'm spraying it into the cap. Then I'm using a fine micro brush to dab in the paint where it's needed. All right, now we're ready for step four, which is to mask off the brake caliper. I'm using some grocery bags and some painter's tape to mask off the brake rotor. And to be safe, I'm also masking off the car's paint right around the wheel arch. Now we can move on to the fifth and final step. All of this prep work has paid off, and now we're ready to apply the new clear coat to the brake caliper. Let's start by shaking up the brake caliper for 60 seconds. Now we're going to spray on a light coat of clear coat followed by two medium coats. We're going to wait 10 minutes in between to give each layer of clear coat a chance to dry. And we also want to pay special attention to how heavily we're applying the clear coat because if you're not careful, the clear coat can easily run and ruin the finish. All right, so I'm done applying three coats of clear and our brake caliper looks amazing. It looks brand new. Let's now remove the masking and give the brake caliper a solid 24 hours to dry before we drive the car. All right guys, take a look at that brake caliper. It looks amazing. You can't even tell the difference between the faded red paint and the areas that were in better condition. And I put about three coats of the clear on it and it looks nice and shiny. Now I'm not gonna say this is a success right away. By the time you watch this video, I will have done about a month of driving on this car because we want to see how this clear coat holds up after about a month and a few car washes. So we will be back like this and boom. All right, car fanatics. So it's been one month since I refinished the clear coat on the front brake caliper. And this has given me a chance to put about 800 miles on the car to see if the clear coat will hold up. In addition, I did run it through the automatic car wash and the clear coat is still looking really nice. The brake caliper is a little bit dirty, but Otherwise, it's nice and shiny. And if you look at it from here, and these angles here, you see that the brake caliper is nice and bright red. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the brake caliper on the other side, just to give you a sense of what the brake caliper looked like before. 
All right, so check out the brake caliper on the other side of the car. This is what that brake caliper originally looked like. And as you can see here, the brake paint is so faded. It's looking almost like a pink color instead of a deep red like the other side. So really just polishing this up and applying a few layers of clear coat really brings back the finish on the brake caliper. Well, there you have it, Car Fanatics. For less than 50 bucks and a few hours of your time, you can completely restore your brake calipers and make them look brand new. If you're interested in doing this yourself, take a look at the description where I'll leave links to the products used. Also, if you want more DIY content, take a look at my new website, www.ecarguides.com, where you can find more DIYs as well as a lot more Porsche content. Well, thanks for watching Car Fanatics. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and be sure to hit the bell notification icon so you're notified each time I upload a new video. Leave any questions or comments below, and thanks for watching.